In this video, I play as Greece, now known as the Hellenic State, as we fight against our age-old enemy, Benito Mussolini, sitting in his palace in Rome, having a good time as he celebrates his past victories as we suffer in Greece. At least the occupation is over, but we are still a puppet state, a protectorate of this Roman Empire. Not much of a Roman Empire, though. Germany has quite a interesting empire. I guess. Because this is the Thousand Week Reich mod, a mod where Germany won World War II but Japan lost. So we have things like the Republic of China and a US occupied Japan while also having this version of Europe. Uh, our main goal will be to get our independence, get our land. We're radical Greeks here. We need Crete. We need. Byzantium, we need Persian Empire, of course, yeah, eventually. That's a long ways away. I guess right now we kind of just need our independence. That's kind of step one here. I think we can only do one focus right now, the Unionist Initiative. A new plan has been laid out to finally push Greece towards a brighter unified future. Where under the kind hand of the Italians, the benevolent state- wait, under the kind hand? Wait, what? I thought we hated the Italians. Oh, and Benito, our good friend Mussolini, he's still LARPing the Roman dream. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. Wait, what's this? Luxury hotels in Crete? But that's, that's our island. Also, it's worth mentioning that in this timeline, the Italians didn't even get Egypt or the Suez or anything, really, besides us. So really, Italy's only gains were Savoy, Corsica, Tunis, and us. Like, that's all they really got. Kind of pathetic, honestly. Also, we have Ordenstadt Banat in this mod, and Germany still occupies the Netherlands, but they still exist over here, kind of like a free France entity. Until now, maybe, because Indonesia is revolting against their Dutch overlords. It's kind of understandable, though, because now the Dutch overlords don't have the Netherlands to even base themselves in. And the great President Raleigh addresses a crowd in Athens as he continues to extol the Hellenic virtues of their resilient nation, a light murmur of approval is heard from the crowd, and Rallies seizes the initiative to capture their hearts. Passion tints his words as he raises his head to thank the people for their courage in these trying times and to assure them that it is only by their indomitable spirit that Greece marches on, and furthermore, there is a shout behind him. He turns to the sound of clamor on the platform. Raleigh's eyes barely register the man's Evzone Guard uniform before he feels the cold steel of a bayonet in his gut. Pain blooms and his old legs buckle. The president desperately tries to cling to the podium, still half turned towards the audience. More pain, another stab, gunshots, a shout. And so the dream of unity dies with Raleigh's. We're currently just led by the provisional unitary government, but I'm sure that won't be for long. This is a great stepping stone for the Hellenic state. Maybe we can restore some nationalism. I, I, I don't I don't know. And it's nice to see the collaborators fighting with each other, the, the people who are trying to work with Italy and try to get the most out of this situation for themselves. Also, Italy didn't even get Malta. They didn't get Malta. Ah, well, what a failure. Yes, and we are a government with no true ideas. We've just been following whatever the Italians said for so long that we, we have no ideas, apparently. This, this, this is not good. Ah, oh, and our good friend Zukov declared premier of the Union of Soviet Socialist Republics. Interesting. And Mexico became socialist, Korea became Marxist-Leninist. This is an interesting trend here. And the Republican dream, the people in the Hellenic state here are a little tired of this fascist system of government, so they're resorting to um, only, only the most interesting options. Just as many in our regime have predicted, the open rebellion in Athens has spread to other parts of the country. The party's leadership council has declared the foundation of a new Greek Republic, one untainted by the cowardice and moral bankruptcy of the Hellenic state. Order will prevail. Okay, <laughs> yes, here we go. The Hellenic state and us, the kingdom of Greece. Wait, wait, we're the Hellenic state? 
Wait, so we're the cowardly? Uh, it's fine though, at least we're free from Italy, right? Right. It's kind of annoying though that Italy isn't gonna even help us here though, like, we're their puppet state for ages, and then when an actual conflict starts here, they just give up on us. Okay, this might be the easiest civil war I've had in a while. I have their entire army pinned in this tile here, and I'm just force attacking in with this guy. I know I might lose a lot of men doing this force attack, but their entire army is here, seven divisions. I of their nine divisions total, I believe. And we just have to walk into their capital, yes? And nice, democracy has fallen. Stability once more, a crisis is over. And now we can just keep doing our focus tree like normal. Oh, and we're a puppet again? No, they don't even help us and then we become a puppet. Ah. So we have a new leader, yes. And there's another crisis. Oh wait, I just realized we became a nation run by shoe shiners. what? Hmm, we can't let this happen. Uh. Oh, and it's been quite a long time, but Ethiopia has finally returned. Hopefully Italian East Africa loses, we can hope. And this is an impossible choice here. I don't- I don't want to spend the rest of my life searching for the lost Stark, but at the same time, I don't want to become a puppet. This is an unfortunate situation here. I guess we're just siding with these people. It's not like they're taking over the country, right? But if we side with this guy, if we side with him, then once we eventually conquer the world, we're going to have to give him control over a certain area where he'll eventually break relations with us and then influence the genetics research of a foreign country. I just know what's gonna happen here, but we have to do it. Uh, and I like how almost everyone hates the Soviets. It's, it's interesting. I, I assume it's because they have claims on pretty much everybody in a modifier with Germany. Also, a lot of people hate Germany too, for obvious reasons, of course. France France became communist and has been revived, is no longer just kind of like a satellite state of Germany. And we have a similar ideology to them and not Germany. So yeah, 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 I, I think we're actually socialists here, I would, I would guess, maybe. Well, with this guy being in the government, I, I don't know. <laughs> and everything here falling apart like normal. And things broke apart here too. It'll be interesting to see who wins. Hopefully not this man, I, I hope. Also, I'll Albania got independent. It's unfair. How'd they get independent before us? I don't know. I guess we're having these issues with stability. We have to curtail these guys' power. And then once we eliminate the threat they pose, then we can start doing interesting stuff like Greek Enosis under the Red Moon and the Thracian Liberation Army. And the Allies, now the Toronto Accord, have declared on Norway in a very peaceful move. And if Germany doesn't wrap up their civil war soon enough, the Allies will invade there too, I'm sure. Wait! We're actually saved, guys. Oh, this is this is perfect. Ah, oh, now we only have to worry about our version of him. Who's probably he's probably just a, a bad mockery. Uh, he, he can't be anything incredibly dangerous that's going to ruin our uh, plans in the future. And we had a fake election. Our government has reached out to the Republican officers, issuing a special note that defines an upcoming election, which could appease them. Of course, this is a total lie. As our forces are prepared to hold this lie against them, using it as pretext to slowly chip away their power. Yeah, 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 an election, yeah. I also love how the People's Germany has their own focus tree. That is, that's pretty cool. And Italy formed the Mediterranean Union. It has some pretty good benefits, but for legal reasons, I have to hate it. Also, Germany is now at war with the Allies, which is not really good for them. This is probably going to be over soon. I guess with the Danish state on their side, it isn't going to be so bad, yeah. Oh, hmm, <laughs> oh no, is this gonna happen? I don't think there's a nuclear apocalypse in this mod. I'm pretty sure we're safe from that, but um, I also like how Zukov is losing to this random Russian warlord state. And Germany won the civil war, but D-Day kind of happened a decade late, but still, yeah, it's not looking so good for them. Oh no, Germany was met with a fate worse than death. What is this? Oh no, this may be the worst border gore peace conference I've ever seen. Hopefully something happens, some event or decision that fixes this. Okay, interesting, a much bigger Germany than in our timeline. Still merged with Austria and has more territory here. Hopefully the Toronto Accord will support our independence too, maybe. Wait, the Toronto Accord pressured Italy into giving us our independence, and they did. I feel like soon this is gonna be annoying though, once we're the ones trying to expand. Maybe at least we can get our stuff back from Bulgaria. But we'll prepare the Thracian Liberation Army. We'll try to mess with Bulgaria a little bit. And a nuke. 
was dropped on the Republic of Slovenia. Maybe the Toronto Accord isn't as good as we initially thought. I, I don't know, they seem kind of violent. Okay, time to start our missions here. We can see if we can get Thrace back. Ah, oh, the Thracian crisis. So oh, we caused a civil war, huh? I, I think direct intervention, yeah. I don't know, does that mean we go to war? Does that just mean we can send volunteers? I, I'm not sure. Oh, we actually joined them. Yes, a fight of two comrades working together. Of course, we only have terrible militia divisions, but <laughs> it's better than nothing. After cycling a whole bunch and making some kind of actual divisions, maybe? They at least are kind of doing the job, so we're probably gonna break this tile, yeah. So they broke the encirclement here, but we got into their capital, and now we're going to take their new capital soon. And if things get bad, we can just last stand, but yep, that ends it. Ah, <laughs> uh, and look at that, beautiful. Now we just need back these islands and maybe some land over here. And, and I may have dismantled my army to occupy Bulgaria, but now Yugoslavia has demanded territory from us that I, I just can't give away. Well, they have a much bigger army than me, unfortunately. By strategically falling back, I was able to pretty much cut off their entire army down here in what used to be Bulgaria, so. <laughs> Yeah, that's it. This mod has come quite a long ways and it's pretty fun. Maybe there's more for us to do. I don't know. It seems like this is the end though. I don't think there's any way for us to really get these islands. So I guess we'll leave it there and I'll see you guys next time. <laughs>